The most challenging parts of getting to where I am today, uh, just the uh, lack of diversity in the industries that I've been in, um, that I'm in, the fight, the constant, constant fight around that, um, the, the fight to prove that I have a certain role or, or position in the company, not because of some token is it tokenization or something like that. The work itself is, Surprisingly not, and that I think is what's great um, to be able to find an intersection of something that I really love and be able to try to do it with more you know, passion and innovation than, than others. Um, but I, I think it was it's really just constantly trying to, you know, or prove myself in a way that even though sometimes the work just spoke for itself. The advice I'd give to women with regards to their careers are to definitely take risks, get out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself all the time like, or ask yourself if you're being challenged. Avoid being a nurse's captive. There have been plenty of times when I um, have had roles and, you know, they were very comfortable um, and I feel like you almost want to have that knot in the pit of your stomach all the time when, you, when you're working on something. And, and I think it's finding I also think it's actually finding one's personal success equation, thinking about what you need in order to feel happy and motivated with respect to work each day. And again, finding that intersection of passion for that function and, and the ability, well, one's ability to do it better and more innovative and more efficiently than others. So I'm most proud of um, the fact that I started my career really without a plan and, <laughs> and ended up where I am. But part of it is because, um, well, primarily because I have three guiding principles that I've always followed, whether I was in college, whether I was working in retail or working at investment banks or, you know, software companies. And it's about accountability, being critical, so being transparent all the time and me taking personal responsibility about being able to make hard decisions really quickly. Um, sometimes it was respect to taking a role or, or not taking something. Um, and then just really taking the long view all the time. 